Hi, I'm Yasin Barhumi. Thanks for inviting me to the MIDL 2021 conference. I'm a PhD student at Rowan University, working on vision transformers and their application. And today, I'm presenting my multi-CNN vision transformer hybrid model called Spokeformer and its application to the RSNA hemorrhage classification challenge. So the input to our architecture is an RGB image that we input into a CNN in order to extract high level features uh, with a dimension set priorly to 7 by 7 by 1024. So we do the same thing for all the CNNs put in parallel and extract high level specific features to each CNN uh, with an identical dimension of 7 by 7 by 1024. Uh, note that the height and width must be similar in order to concatenate them later, but the number of channels can vary. Uh, in our case, we did not change the number of channels so we can compare uh, these features against each other because we're uh, using the cosine similarity metric. And the CNN that we used was an exception CNN, and we did not vary that also. So we can uh, highlight the uh, pre-training paradigm that we used for each CNN and their contribution to contribution to the all um, to the overall and um, feature richness and um, feature richness to the uh, scope form architecture. So next, we concatenate these features along the third axis along the uh, depth. And we get um, a feature map with a dimension of seven by seven by one uh, by n times one thousand and twenty-four. Um, of course, tokenization or patch extraction um, to get these pa the patches. And each patch is um, the dimension of each patch is uh, one by one. And of course, the number of uh, channels is conserved. Uh, we do the same thing for all the patches, and we get uh, forty-nine patches, and then. Uh, along to the CLS token and the positional encoding, we, we get uh, 49 plus uh, one um, input vectors to the uh, vision transformer uh, encoders. So we we have um, 50 uh, vectors, uh, whereas where, uh, if you're using the raw images uh, and using a patch size of 16 by 16, uh, we get um, the input vectors will be, um, number of input vectors will be 100 and um, 97 and in our case is 50 which um, enables um, some some computations gained um, however the the number of uh, the, the channels number of channels in our case is uh, larger so we input these tokens or vectors into the um, VIT encoders and then the MLP head and then we derive the classification so we use two types of data sets for pre-training so and the fir first one was ImageNet, and the second was uh, data was uh, generated using style transfer method applied on uh, also ImageNet. So basically, we take uh, an image, we uh, set the target to be um, an MRI, MRI um, head scan, uh, scan or picture, and um, and the output will be uh, a style transferred ImageNet uh, picture. So we do this using multiple uh, targets and in order to unbias the, the, uh, the model towards these uh, the specific pictures. And we're doing this uh, method in order to enhance the, uh, uh, or, or improve the bias towards these, the, uh, the textures or the, the uh, shapes of this um, brain images and thus improve the, the classification. So the training data set was the, was the RSNA uh, dri derived from the DICOM um, um, files uh, that we applied the three, I mean, a standard three windows techniques uh, in order to derive these JPEG formats. So for the results, uh, we, we, as we can see, the, um, I mean, using a hybrid model is better than vision transformer and by roughly um, 1.5%. And then from there, uh, the, the more we add CNNs, the more we add feature extractors, the more we have uh, a better classifications um, all along until three CNN vision transformer. And uh, another observation that we have here is the, the more that you vary the pre-training paradigm um, to, for, for your CNNs, the more that you have, uh, you have classifications. Um, thank you.